Hi there, and welcome to the next episode of Making Planter... No. Oh, poop. Making mannequin heads into planters. Or you could say, making planters from mannequin heads. You can say it however you want. It works in both ways in the English lang language. Language. <laughs> language. <laughs> Um, so I'm not really sure what number, what number episode this is, uh, at this point, I have lost track. We're in the twenties. I know that. Um, so when we last met, I was working on this man here, Mr. Cutouts, Mr. Flaps. Ooh, Sir Flaps a lot. <laughs> um, and then... I finished two, huzzah, and then I was going to seal them. I was going to show you how to seal them and put them outside. But instead, what I'm not going to do is show you how to seal them because it's literally like, and that's it. Um, and I don't want to take up a whole amount of time and I'm not going to be walking between here and where I'm going to be doing it um, over by the furnace. So what I did do was I actually sprayed it off screen. Oh my God, I said I wasn't going to do it. Well, you know, I lied. Um, but I wanted to show you, I didn't fully lie because I did want to be sure to, oh, there we go. Hi. Um, show you what I used. So I found this in a box, you know, we're still unpacking cause we moved in here in October and it's now July. Um, so this many months later, I'm still finding stuff, um, of my crafts and arts and projects and yeah, I have a lot of that stuff. We do. And I work on a lot of projects anyway. Like, you know, we're working on the sheet rock, rocking down here, like I told you. And um, so it's nice to have this stuff, right? And I kind of don't throw it away because I know I'm going to use it at some point. So I used this on the last house to do some sealing of um, wallboards and where I was doing layering of wallboards. And um, it's clear. And I found it in the box and I went, oh my gosh, I could use this on the stuff outside. Cause I'm, cause like I mentioned the last time, the spar varnish is like tacky tacky, like tacky tacky, not good, right? So I figured this stuff would be good. So I sprayed this on it, left it down over on the other side. It is very weird when you spray this stuff uh, because as you spray it, it, it has like little uh, cobweb, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. When you're finished, shut up. Okay. Bye -bye. Yeah, bye. Anyway, that was my husband Lee saying. <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, so when you when you spray this stuff, it uh, I probably would help if I actually tell people what I'm doing down here instead of just going down to my lair uh, and I say I'm going downstairs. Um, it has like a spider webby effect, which is very creepy because it like comes out into the air and it goes as it hits stuff or if it overflies, it's like like spider webs. A little creepazoid there. Um, but this stuff actually is pretty brilliant. I let it dry downstairs and I took it up, took it outside because uh, I didn't want it to be in the humidity of the summer, uh, even though the heat does help dry, but but the, um, the dryness of the basement, it doesn't smell that bad. So it worked really well. Just clear. Uh, I put it a little bit heavier on the one, the black one that has the, the stripes on it, you know, with the different patches of gold and silver and copper and all those things. And um, worked brilliantly. So, ta-da for outside stuff. What an idea. I'm going to get me more of this stuff because it seems to work really well and I'm almost out. Um, I know that uh, that one, oddly enough, I got I got a long time ago, um, like years ago. Um, but I think I got it in some place like Walgreens or something. They were doing, I've seen on TV, you know, those sections that they have. And um, I think that's where I got it. They have it in black, I think, too, and maybe white. But um, I was like, oh, clear. That way it doesn't matter what goes over it. So, ta-da, there you go. So as we were last talking, looky here. It has a growth on its forehead. He used to have that taken care of. Dr. Pimple Popper could take care of that for him. If you've never watched Dr. Pimple Popper, I kind of have a, and don't be surprised. Don't, don't even pretend you're surprised. 
that um, I go down that rabbit hole pretty deep at times. Um, <laughs> it's just fascinating what parts of your body can produce uh, in these. Yeah, it's just it's just horrible. And I sit there going, oh, God, I literally out loud. And then I giggle because I'm, I'm realizing that I'm oh, godding outside my body, not just in my brain. Um, so I have to be careful not to watch those um, when I'm actually going to bed because Lee will already have been in bed because he works at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'll be lying there and I'll be like, I'll be watching me like, oh, and he'll be like, I'm, 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 I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, let's not, um, let's not wake Lee up just by being grossed out by um, somebody doing that. It's cool. Um, it is very gross to, and fun to watch all at the same time if you have a sort of brain like me. So, oh my God, take care of that. I got a pair of scissors like a... Anyway. So... <laughs> all right, so we're going to figure out where, how, where and how, but mainly how, I'm going to do the eyeballs on this guy um, today. I really like the ones with all the nubbins on them. Um, I think they're really cool and like super creepazoid. So I like that. Uh, this here's another one. Here's another one. These are about similar size. This one has holes in it. Oops, upside down. I think that works pretty freaking clean. <laughs> pretty freaking cool. All right, so gluing them on last time worked worked really well so i was going to use these shells as you know um like in here in the eyes which i think are pretty cool um but i realized and there are these these little guys um muscles i think they're um but i realized that they'll fit actually on the other planes of the face like over the ears and stuff like that really well so i want to use them in places that they'll sort of there we go, contour in, and I like them as ears. So, they'll go on the ears today. These two will go on to eyeballs. We're gonna do that now. This is stuck very nicely. I am going to use this, and I have a window open for ventilation. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is, so that I can place it, I'm going to take the glue, and remember what glue this is. It's the safety, it's the safety, it's the super glue, but in the thick version of it. And it's wonderful stuff, easy to put on, just a real light bead. I don't want a lot. Um, oddly enough, super glue works better when you use just a little teeny bit and you spread it on there, not with your fingers, but with the tip. And I always find it amazing, and I don't know if, you, if you've ever even thought of this, but I think about it, that I can do that. And then the cut comes off. It's amazing to me. It's like, it's super glue. It sticks to everything, right? Well, it doesn't stick to everything. Certain types of plastics, it doesn't stick to. And I just think that's freaking fascinating. So I'm gonna remember, or try to figure out what I just said, what I'm gonna do, oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. This one goes on the other eye because of the shape of it. So that's the dry fit of the next one. And this one's gonna go right over here. Now be careful when you're putting it on because you gotta get it on and then leave it alone. Don't keep repositioning it, Patrick. Yep, right there. Because it will stick very quickly. These two surfaces, the um, the painted head and the shell. Whew, that stuff is strong. Uh, stick together very well with this kind of glue. Like I said, it doesn't stick to everything. Uh, as we found out doing that one head where I was trying to do it with the foam. Don't breathe that stuff in. Or at least as little as you can. I'm gonna let it set up just a little bit so it gets tacky. Just a little bit though, not too much. Do, 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 because I like moving on, do the next thing. All right, gonna get that right on there until it, there it is. Starting to stick, don't keep moving it, Patrick. Let it get in there, there it is. That's the position I want it. Make sure I don't glue my fingers on. Make sure it's pretty much the same as the other side to balance it out. And I'll hold it, and 
it's starting to stick already. A little breeze and it's sticking on there much better already. So now I started this one up above and then scooted it down because I realized I have room on the very top, the really barnacle-y one, to put something above it that might be kind of cool, but it's got to sort of go with the shape of the contour. The gold ones on there, this one, that's a little overkill for there. I think, I don't know where I'm going to use this one yet. Just don't know. It's such a cool one, but it's like, does it, oh, that might be really weird. Is it obscuring the face too much? I don't know. So I want to have something over, oh, there we go. That one actually, it's a broken shell. See the corners are broken off the edges at the ends. So which actually works well because of the contour of the head to get it to fit on. Um, but which way would I do it? Let's see, shall I do it that way? Not that way. This way is pretty cool. Have it build up. So I gotta make sure that I have something for the mouth with this one. Oh, this one works really well for the mouth. Chin, cups right around the chin. Now, what else do I have? Oh, that's a good one on the chin. So a little guy like this, do I have one with more barnacles? I do. Oh, 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 that's cool. There we go. Put him on there. Don't, oh. <laughs> it's hard to use when you got the cap on. Um. There we go. Do, 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 do. Get a little bit under. Right around the edge. There we go. Don't hold it right under your schnoz. And pop it on. Pop right there. I want to make sure that it's centered because I don't have a lot of time to mess with it. But I don't want it to look really janky either. I love that word. It's a new word to me and I... Uh, somebody was using it. Oh, we were watching um, Hometown with Ben and Aaron. I don't know if you have ever seen the show. It's actually really, really fun. The two of them are the sweetest little couple, but it's it's a, a sweet little couple. That's I don't know, derogatory, but whatever. They're this, a super sweet couple. They're very funny. Um, ben is absolutely freaking adorable. Big go loop that he is. And I mean that in the, the loveliest way. He, he is just a sweetest guy and um she's adorable i love her designs um she actually changes it up for her clients unlike a lot of the other designers on shows i love watching design shows because you get in i get inspired by them so does lee and larry loves them too so all right where are the ears ear and ear okay so how are these doing good they're on chin is on um but she said janky on one of the episodes we watched the other day. And I was like, oh, I like that. I know you probably heard it like a million times, but it was, and I've heard it before. I just hadn't really like, bonk, janky. And I giggled about it. We both giggled, actually. Lee and I were sitting there. We're like, hee, janky. And it, it made total sense with what she was talking about. It was very, very cute. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a heart-shaped one. Heart-shaped on the head. It's kind of a crest. That's cool. That's a good one. All right, I'll put that one on next. I'll put that one after. Oh, yeah, so I want the barnacle ears. So these can go. Maybe these should go. Oh, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. That's cool. Yeah, that'll work. Um, make sure it's centered out. I want them at angles. That's pretty cool. Do I use them on the sides or the face? Let's stand them up. Should be fine. Yep. And there's the beginnings of him. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, so I could do these. These are kind of cool here, like on the sides, because he's going to have big barnacle ears. Wink right there, face forward. I kind of like them like this. So let's take a look here. Look here. I don't want to overthink it. I want to really go with it organically. I kind of like it like that. What do you think? That's kind of cool, you know, make them sort of pseudo even through the cutouts. You could even put them higher. Well, that's kind of cool. Or, since I'm going to have plants, I wonder if they would be wasted to put them back here. Uh, I 
I think that would be, oh, it might actually shore up the head. Eh, I don't think I'll, you know, you're not really looking at it from three. I mean, you are, like when they're on the middle of the table, you are kind of seeing them 360. So maybe on the back, nah, that looks weird. <laughs> yes, I hear that. It looks weird. Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, look at all the stuff I'm doing. And I say that that looks weird. Um, let's see if I can, oh, there we go. Lean them up. I'm going to do a little ear surgery here. Just pop this one on. Which way is it going to go? I don't like it that way. I like it that way. Do, do, do. So let's pop this one on this ear, get it to stick. Let's make sure. Are these identical? Oh, well, that's kind of problematic. Oh, no, they're, are they opposite? No, they're the same. See, they're the same shape. They're not opposite shapes. What was cool with the eyes is that they were going different directions. Um, maybe if I do, do I these, these are opposites, smaller shells in the ear. So you can really see that it's in, ear, in the ear. Then where am I going to use these? I really like the big janky, the big, um, stuck on the word janky, um, the really big barnacle -y. That's what I'm looking for. Barnacles. Reminds me of SpongeBob. Oh my God. If you know me, you knew that you know that I was at for quite a long time obsessed with SpongeBob. I absolutely love the joie de vivre of the the just joy, unabashed, giggling, and ridiculousness of SpongeBob SquarePants. And the funny thing is, this was not when I was a child, because he was not around when I was a child. This was when I was an adult. And I had a huge collection when we lived in Kansas City in our first house, and uh, our first house that we owned, not our first rental. And um, they moved years and years and years later, they moved with us to the East Coast. And I had this giant box, well, it's not a giant box, it was a big box of all the stuff of Spongebob that I got over the years. And I would collect like inflatables and figures and just random, I mean, fun stuff. I'd see it and I'd be like, ah, that's fun. I'm gonna get it. Food items, oddly enough, uh, like Krabby Patties and stuff like that is just bizarre, um, even for me. But they were, I just, I just love Spongebob. So I gave all of that to Trent when we moved here. Oh, this one's perfect. Look at this. Let's get this puppy on here. And he had it downstairs in his area when he was a kid um, for a long time. And uh, it was very sweet. And you know, that stuff gets faded. It was in the windows and everything gets faded. And, but there's a lot of sentimental value to it or, you know, it's personal value, no, no other real value to it. Um, other than that, it's just, it's Spongebob. And Trent used to watch Spongebob um, when he was getting, like eating breakfast every morning, which always made me so happy because I was like, oh, we're bonding over Spongebob. Um, the kid has great tastes, let me tell you. Great taste in um, crazy cartoons. Um, so anyway, so the barnacles and everything reminds me of Spongebob big time. Um, how could it not? Um, all right, so this one is going on pretty well. That's well affixed. This is staying on my barnacle man. Got to come up with a name for him, I think. There's got to be something that's obvious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Do, 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 Creepy pant barnacle man. I'm going to put a couple of shells on him that look cool oh there it is so right along the jawline do you like that or should they go where else would it go not there i like i do like them up here now i'm gonna have to look at it straight on though sorry you can't see what i'm doing oh what's that oh i just hoping nothing falls off now they're on pretty pretty well all right so i'm gonna put one over here i glue that on Apparently there's a lot of sound effects going with this one today. Uh, all right, here we go. Try not to glue my fingers too. 
the show. Okay, so probably one of the reasons I'm so jazzed is I'm absolutely exhausted, um, like beyond tired, for the best reason ever. I went with Lee last night to um, Foxborough and got to see Elton John live in concert on his farewell tour. Oh, really? Yes, really. Um, and was it really that good? Oh my gosh. That man is absolutely the most inspiring thing I've, I think. <laughs> One of the most one of the most inspiring people I've seen in a long time. Seventy five years old, rocking for two and a half hours, only did two costume changes during that entire time. Um, he is master showman, and holy shit, that I mean, he can still play like piano, and then his singing was such a incredible surprise what a like great surprise he was really just phenomenal but anyway so we got back at ah gluing my fingers together got back at um 1 30 this morning so i was finally getting to sleep at about two and okay we're eating early it's in 6 30 6 45 larry but you didn't have your class tonight <laughs> it's fine I have five minutes. That's all right. It's good because I'll be done with this episode in five minutes. Then I get to go and eat. Yummy. I'll be up in a little bit, Larry. Um, yeah, so he was just really just spectacular and so much fun to watch and just great songs. Started off with Benny and the Jets and I was just like, oh my God, this is wonderful. We had like nosebleed seats, which were actually really good. Holy moly, I, I'm not, you know, it worked for me. I thought that was great. So these two little guys, because I don't want to glue my hands, my fingers any to this any more than I need to, I'm going to put on his nose, but I'm going to do it. Or should I put him on his lips? I'm going to put him on his lips. Right on the little, Shine would know what the name of these things are. I used to know. I don't remember on the lips, the little wink, 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 wink on either side, or is it the thing in the middle that I used to know the name of? I think it's the thing in the middle that right, right, right there, the little indent. Um, there it is. There's one, and there's two, there's two. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, that's actually really, really funny and awesome. And then, so let's put a schnozzle piece on here. Um, is that obscure him too much? I want to really be clear that it is a face. So maybe I can take a couple of these barnacles off and put them. <gasps> oh, that whole batch of barnacles just came. Oh, and they fall right apart. All right, so we're going to start barnacling this guy. I'm going to put one right, be oops. one right between his eyes. One here. One here. I have three. Yeah, so boy, it was the concert was just everything that you could ever like hope for in seeing Elton John. We were way up above so we could see everything, which was awesome. If you know um, the, the um, stadium at all, we, we were in 330, which is way up there. And we were, so we were like next to the stage. Ooh, there's hidden, there it is. Um, but they had everything done so that we could see really, really well. I'll move that one out a little bit. There we go. And uh, the sound was spectacular. Holy Moses. Was that ever incredible. But these are kind of cool. I can take, they're coming like right off of the, the shells. Barnacles are. Oh, except for when I really want one. Yep, yeah, there it is. They pop right off. Cool. And they have a little bit rounded bottoms, so they're going on his face really nicely. See, you thought I was just going to leave it wonka vicious, but no. I'm going to do a little row of two, two, two. Right there, right there, right there. I'm going to do little dots down his schnoz. 
Oh, that one's going to apparently live right there because it popped out of my hand. It wanted to go on that spot so badly. And then down at the tip of the nose. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let me tell you, that man, showman, sweet. Like, everything he talked about and everything he did was just, like, wonderful and... I can't imagine. I mean, just what an incredible career and for him to be that person is so inspiring. Um, makes me, I, you know, I kept on thinking, I was like, oh my God, so this would be pretty brilliant. You know, I, I really enjoy actually singing at retirement homes for people who are in retirement homes. And all right, just, I have, it's almost five minutes up. I got four minutes. So I got one more minute. Um, and I was thinking, you know, the new the new sort of people, not people, but the new residents, there we go, there's the word, uh, retirement homes, or the current re residents, are no longer like, I, w I would always sing songs of the 20s, 30s, 40s, right? Classics. But, um, I think if I sang, I, well, I, I'm going to know, I know I want to change my whole set lists from those classic like musical theater and songs of the thirties and forties crooners and stuff like that over to Elton John songs. So Billy Joel songs, some of them are like really freaking high. Like the range is like, holy shit, they're way up there. But um, find ones that are definitely in my range. And we'll put one right there. Yeah, that's going the wrong way. I think that won't work. Let's put one right up here. And uh, I think that would be awesome set lists to do for folks who are in any kind of assisted living or anything like that. They're so appreciative and lovely people to sing for. And oh my gosh, the people that you meet at these facilities, you know, like just incredible people and insightful, love, loving. And even if they're, you know, pissed off about being there, they still, the history, living history that they are. Oh, oh, oh come on. No, not my finger. Ah, not my finger. Ah, ah. Get on there. Stop sticking to me. Oh, there we go. So those folks are, and they're really appreciative of like somebody coming in and singing to them. I have them sing along with me whenever possible. If they don't know it, they can hum and la la la. And uh, there we go. This is not going on easily. I think it's the position of it. Oh, there it goes. Boom. All right, so that's all for today. These are where I went with that. Just working through all the different ideas and developing it out. Cool, right? Very fun. It's kind of reminding me of the masks that I did. Um, and then on the next one, we will figure out what we're gonna do paint-wise or stain or whatever. And as Elton John said, uh, love one another. There's not enough love in the world. And I 100% agree with him. Love yourself and love others. And just be nice. Be nice. If you're going to react, remember, what do you have control of? The way you react to things. You may not have control of the things, but you have control over the way you can step back, observe, and then react. All right? And have a wonderful day. And spread the love, baby. Subscribe. Share. Find me on Facebook. Um, and do lots of comments. I love the comments. They're, they're coming in and just really enjoying them. So enjoying doing this. Bye.